Now, back to our special tribute to John Pierce on 873 2GB. Some called him the Prince of Provocation. Others called him Mr. Fierce. But everyone called him entertaining. He knew how to stir his listeners. People either loathed or loved him. But they always listened. My grandmother used to complain week in, week out. Broadcaster John Harker. That nasty man on Saturday and Sunday nights. I can't stand that John Pierce. He's so rude. I'm never listening to him again. She must have said that nearly every week, but of course every week she was tuned in to 2GB. What is the proper way to sit at a computer? On a chair. Using the computer? On a chair. Do you claim to know so much about a computer? Well, I just answered you. Now you tell me which is the proper way to sit at a computer all day. On a chair. If you are working in an office. On a chair. Well, do you sit down, up, or in the middle? <laughs> You wonderful person. There's no such thing as sitting down, up, or in the middle. Mr. Pierce, I have spoken to experts about computers. A moment, forget computers for a moment. But please I... take no, just, just a sec, please. You... Please, 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 please. Oh, no, look, you can you can help us more than we know. Would you please describe to us what is sitting up, down, or in the middle? Well, the experts. Now, you tell me what sitting up, down, or in the middle means. Apparently you haven't spoken to the expert. I am an expert. Looking at the screen. Thank God nobody would ever take you seriously on this or any other matter. Go on. You ask the experts. I am the expert. You ring me because I'm the expert. You want to know. Sit up, down or in the middle. <laughs> Crikey. Somebody probably lives with that or once did. And furthermore... He will give you the name of a very, very good psychiatrist. I suggest really that you carry that out and then you can ring me up subsequently and say, Dear John, thank you so much. You've been great help to me. Rubbish. Do you only get sick? Look, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry if that's what you rang me up about. Go back about talking the, about the Bosnians attacking the French. That makes more sense than what you're saying now. John, you're terrible. I know, but I'm having it attended to. The more you say, the sillier it gets. Right. But I'm sure you're a lovely person and kind to animals. You're right there. There you are, then, right. right but uh, believe me, the, the Bosnian Serbs are not going to attack Paris. Well, the first well, I, I don't care if you sleep in front of the public dunny in, in Hyde Park. By speaking to me, you have just spoken and made your statement to a greater number of people than you ever will in the street. Consider yourself having done it. Please go home. You're making the joint look untidy. Bankrupting the world. America's bankrupting the world. Yep. America's lending money to the world. Hey? Hey? America's lending money to the world. I know. Well, well how can it be bankrupting the world when it's lending it money? More than she can, can make and... Uh, how, can, how can you be lending money in, to the world and bankrupting the country at the same time? You have to do with this issue the paper money. Paper money? Yes. Yes. You'll find... Haven't you heard of gold and silver? Hey? Hey? Hello? Hey? I know you're Mr. Know-all and you only listen to people who say yes like kids are full. No, I listen to people who say, hey? 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 Garbage. Um, what's garbage about it? If I say it's garbage, it's garbage. You just nullified it by saying socially acceptable. So if it's socially acceptable, it is socially acceptable. If you don't want to accept the acceptances of society, sir, you are a dropout. But continue. Hey. But why is it socially accepted? Because it is so. You, it's like saying, why is Mr. Hawke the Prime Minister? Because he is the Prime Minister. Alcohol and tobacco are socially acceptable. What if they're killing more people than any other... All right, how about the, the bloody motor car? How about it? That's killing more people. But um, only due to excess alcohol. Absolute rubbish. And, uh, well, look, don't let a few facts get in the road of your bias, will you? Uh, no, I won't. Don't let a few, a little bit of bigotry get mixed up in your argument anywhere. Well, I'm trying not to here. Well, you're not showing it very well. You're two out of ten so far. Why is that? Because I said so. Now, that's the second time I've told you that. Because it is so. Anything I say is socially acceptable. That's, that's absolute rubbish. Why don't you stop making a fool of yourself and drop the phone back into the thing? Because, I you, mean, you, I'm not you, making a fool of myself. You want to dribble on a bit, do you? Well, I'm not dribbling. I mean, you, you advertise... If I say you're dribbling, you you're dribbling, sir. I mean, you advertise liquor ads. It's do you drink alcohol? No, I don't. Why the hell don't you? You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> oh, there's a subtle snicker. <laughs> well, you know. What a miserable character you must be if you don't drink. 
Oh dear. He's such a miserable character, at long last the message got to him, and he did lower the phone into the cradle. A cradle from which I don't think he ever really arose. Well, I was going to sing Kikika Katie. You were going to sing Kikika Katie? You know Kikika Katie? Noah, well, intimately. I'm older than you. <laughs> Uh, look, this is mad, but I'm only filling in for old Lawsy. Uh, <laughs> listen, if it hurts, loosen something. <laughs> Just a minute, you're ready to go. Oh, One, two, three, go. Kiki Katie, Kiki Katie, you're the only girl that I adore. When the moon shines on the cacao shed. I'll be waiting at the kicking kitchen door. Do you know what you've just proved? What? You've just proved why Australia's top radio station doesn't play music. Thank you very much for calling by. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, sir. Yes, um, John, I'd like to talk about the way you and the woman who I speak to before I get on um, to you... Uh, I'm sorry, she's not a woman, she's a lady. Oh, a lady, I'm very sorry. OK. Yeah, I'd like to talk about the way you treat your listeners. OK, fine. Well, you can talk about that as much as you like, as long as you talk to yourself. This program is for people to talk about current events. If you have any current events you'd like to speak about, by all means do. Now, good evening. Uh, sale of Telstra, full employment, justice linking with a, full, with a calm society. All right, well, whatever you say. Well, the sale of Telstra and the buying of Senator Colston, you know. Well, no, well, I don't understand that. Uh, and I, I hope you don't either. Have you ever heard of... I, I hope you don't either. Would you just pardon me a moment? Were you not the gentleman I implored last week never to ring me again? Oh, uh, but you... I mean, were you or were you not? Yes or no? You say this... Well, good night, sir, and go away, and please go and bother lesser radio programmes. I failed the audition, you see, because I got the words to the middle eight bars wrong. Really? Yeah. Now, the, the middle eight bars say, I like it for dinner, I like it for tea, a little each day is a good recipe. <laughs> the quality's high, as the name will imply, and I couldn't remember the next line. So I had to fill in time, so I said, and as sure as you have some, you'll lay down and die. And the bloke said, stop, ouch. Get rid of him. Yeah, because the real line is, it's made from pure fruit, one more good reason why... Like I, was, I was jelly. afraid I'd start you. Plain jelly for me. Well, I hope to have a little of that for my lunch with the Navy and... Oh, I wonder if they've got somebody who'd like to finish this programme. You will never, never, never take over from email, sir, if you don't listen to the great man, I'm telling you. Oh, well. The parts are coming will come to you cheaper because of the cheaper cost of cartage. You're talking about this, yeah, all right. Good, yeah, you got that. Yeah. So, therefore, that will flow through to everything you do. Now, my tax on that... Uh, Wholesale thing at the time now. But it won't be four hundred dollars. So the figure on that four hundred. It won't be four hundred dollars. It'll be cheaper. You, even you, sir, will be able to make it cheaper. You don't get me off <laughs> Oh, I don't often break down. Oh well, I got you. See, got me. You got me. I'm a mental wreck. I'm a mental... Are you truly in business? Are you truly in business and you can't see that? From one place to the other, John. Of course, everything's got to be carted from one place to the other. Okay, market or, or whatever. I don't believe it. i that cartage on that the item there. I don't care whether the petrol's two bob a gallon or five bob a gallon. Well, you better, because it's part of the component of your costs. Oh, yeah. Look, my father wanted me to be an accountant. Why the hell didn't I? God, I'm sorry, sir, but you... <laughs> this would go down as one of the worst conversations I've had in years, but we're recording it and saving it for posterity. Oh, are we? No. But we haven't got anywhere, have we? But that's where we started out to do it, so we've achieved it. <laughs> you know what I think we've done? I think we won. In a few moments, the two sides of John Pierce. He was always pulling the listener's leg, or both their legs. Most of the listeners realised that John Pierce was there for a bunch of laughs. That's ahead in our special tribute on 873 2GB.